Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here in Varna, um, Bulgaria and I'm in the Sea Garden and it is, I think, probably one of the best features of Varna. Let's take a walk, shall we? Let's do it. So the Sea Garden is right next to the sea and it's a park, really. It's not just a garden um, and it's a huge park. I mean, enormous. I did a drone video of it and it is huge. Um, I think it's probably one of the biggest parks I've, I've seen. Um, I mean, it's enormous. And it has like uh, three different museums in it. The planetarium, the dolphinarium, and the... I know there's a Navy shipyard. <laughs> I know there's all sorts of different things. One of the best parts about it are the trash cans. And they come and clean these up and the park is pretty much spotless. Um, it's big, it's spotless, it's green, it's taken care of, and it's really wonderful. Um, so the other day I came out here and I walked it. Um, and so I started near the Navy ships. I don't, I don't know if that's called the Navy Museum or what, but, um, but it's uh, near the Navy ships. And, uh, and it was four miles to the end. So that's like six kilometers long. And then it drops down to the sea, and then you get to walk back along the ocean for another four miles. So it was almost a eight mile, eight and a half mile um, journey. And it was, it's wonderful. It has this huge entrance here, and the entrance is to a walking street. So that street right there is a walking street. And I did another video from here all the way to the cathedral. And this is where I'm at, Varna. And there's the sea down there. You see down there? Right out there's the ocean. I don't know if you can make it out really well. <clears throat> but I'm going to walk down to the central statue thing. Um, and you can see how wonderful this park is. You know, flying it over with a drone was really nice. But uh, um, I don't think it captures the beauty of the park. It has restaurants, it has playgrounds, it has amusement parks, it has, I mean, it really has everything. Statues. Another nice thing, it has tons of these things that tell you about certain aspects of it. So the Sea Garden was established in 1862, originally serving the municipal garden planted here with vegetables and fruits. The park was completed, redeveloped 1895 by the, anyway, that's that. And, Another interesting thing, there's lots of dogs and stuff, and people come by and feed them and pet them, and I mean, just tons of wonderful things. So, and that the houses along this, this park here are amazing. Can you see that one? It's like a southern kind of house, and statues, and hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. Yeah. And again, all these restaurants and huge trees. Um, So Varna, this is uh, this is a huge kudo for you guys. I mean, this is what a what a wonderful, wonderful park. Um, if I lived here, I'd probably walk this every day. Um, amazing. And there's it's funny because there's all sorts of like different. It's so big. There's different sections, right? So let me <laughs> and and I'll point out those sections as we walk. Um, there's like a reading section, there's this section with like a skateboard park and a bike thing and, and all that kind of stuff. You see all the skateboard ramps and the fountain? Here, I'll just dip down this way. But it's like they set up these certain little areas for kids and for, you know, adults or whatever your, your thing is. There's even a little theater in here. There's, uh, I mean, it, it really is wonderful. I mean, and you know, too... You're walking next to the to the to the Black Sea, and you can see it right through those woods over there. It's amazing, amazing. And again, here, wonderful fountain, and the bike ramps or skateboard ramps for the kids. And they even, it's funny, they even put up those posts to where they can ride along the edge of the rails and stuff. Um, 
Amazing. It's certainly a wow wow factor for uh, for Varna. And you know, once you dip down to the sea, that's really cute, the lady playing with her dog. Um, the trash truck. How wonderful is it they keep it so clean and pretty. And the flowers. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, you get to walk by the sea. And so the sea is, the whole, the whole distance pretty much, is lined with restaurants and bars and places to lay out in the sun. And, you know, look at people taking pictures of wonderful flowers. And Anyway, it's very, very, very cool. And look at that restaurant over there. That's really amazing. And they have the Wishing Bridge. I'll show you that right now, too. So I talked about these little sections. So I showed you the skateboarder park section. And now I'm going to show you this other section. Um, and I, there's a guy that did this. And it, the nature section, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But this is where the wishing bridge is. But it's got a sign that tells you what this section is. And so this is the Alpininium. <laughs> so it's like an alpine, of like a, like a forest section. The alpine was constructed in 1961 by landscaping architect, blah, blah, blah. In this area, the first sea garden project also included a stone cascade composition, blah, 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 blah. And so it's this section here. It's, it's got a little ram up here. Um, and uh, yeah. Amazing, look how beautiful this is. I mean, you know, just about anybody could come and find a, a place that uh, suited their needs. Um, I think the ram is really cool. It's got like a little waterfall thing and it goes over a river. And this is called the Wishing Bridge right here. And the Wishing Bridge. The Wishing Bridge was originally constructed under the um, untreated breech tree material. Legend has it that if you make a wish and cross the bridge with your eyes closed without touching the rails, um, your wish will come true. Does it say may come true? Will come true. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a wish because I really need a million dollars these days. Traveling's gotten really expensive. So here we go. Uh, I wish for a million dollars. My eyes are closed. Um, <laughs> can I can I use my feet and touch the rails <laughs> so I don't run into anything? Um, oh, all right. Well, my wish isn't coming true. Anyway, that's the wishing bridge. And they do do a great job of keeping it clean. And I, again, I love it. And you, it has different roads. So there, I'm on this main, main center thoroughfare, but there's trails over on that side that are paved and everything else. And so, yeah, totally cool. So you see this big section right here in the middle with all the flowers and plants. This goes on for like a half a mile all the way to the big center statue. And you can see way, 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 way down there. But here's another section. So this is the Exotica area. The attic was constructed in 1971 by the Bulgarian landscape park. Okay, blah, blah, blah. It stands where the summer's reading area was once located. And so it's got like a fountain and benches and all sorts of amazing things. And then tons of these little stones, and I can't read any of them, but I think they're people. And it has busts along here too, which are amazing, and I can't read them either. <laughs> but the flowers, look at, you know, and they're all perfect. They're orange and whites in this one, and this one up here is pinks and reds, and the next one's yellows. And you can see a bust over there, a little statue of a guy. And then here's another statue of a guy. And another statue of a guy. So, yeah, it really is. Uh, 
I, I think it's probably one of the top, I don't know, I'd say top five parks I've ever seen. Um, and, and I say in the top five just because it's not just a, a big park, which counts, but it's a clean park. It's uh, well taken care of and nice and yeah, it's wonderful. And more statues. And again, I don't know if you can see it. There's another whole road over there full of benches. And there's another one over here. Two of them over here that are full of benches and all sorts of stuff. Yeah. Now this one's yellow and purples. And you can see where the trails go off in different directions. And just go to different little side streets along this thing. And look at how huge this park is for kids. I mean, it has swings and slides and weird things and all sorts of stuff. Up here, they have a whole Olympic area. And it has, like, um, weightlifting exercise type things. And, I mean, look down there at all those benches for the parents while their kids play. That, that's, you know, that's thought of. That's, that's. That's somebody, you know, making some conscious choices. Um, yeah. Beautiful. And it, again, it's so peaceful. And you don't hear any of the road, really. I hear the... Uh, truck up ahead cleaning the sidewalks or the street, but but not traffic traffic And I guess you got little wilderness trails you can kind of walk along too man top-notch And then, where was it? Up here there's, I mean, if you keep going, this, I mean, I'm telling you, this goes on for four miles. So it's not uh, tiny by any stretch. So there's lots of rooms for things. And again, there's like a, I want to say like a carnival area. So it has like little roller coaster rides and little trucks you can drive. And <laughs> I mean, and I haven't even been down to any of these other little trails, just this one. Um, but, uh, certainly cool and it's lit too which is really nice I came back from the beach one evening and it was just getting dark and it was lit and that was cool so you're safe and and you feel safe you know too Bulgaria I have never felt unsafe yet so and I'm sure we all have sections of towns that aren't our favorite or um, might be questionable on some level but again I don't know, I haven't, I haven't seen them yet, so, and tennis courts, I was here the other day, and there were like a hundred kids on there playing and doing volleyball and all sorts of stuff. And you can see, looking that way, how big this is. And so, I don't even know if this statue is halfway. I, I don't think it is. I think it's maybe... Uh, Maybe two-fifths of the way? I don't know. And I don't know what these mean. 50, 60, maybe it's a, a race or a, I don't know, for running or something. Good job, Varna. Wonderful. And we're almost to the big uh, center statue thingy. And that's where I'll call this a, a done deal. I won't go any further just because it, this video is going to be a two-hour video. But I just wanted to show you how nice things were. Heck, I haven't even made it to the reading section. They have this whole section with these little, like a little fountain type thing and benches and like chairs and, you know, and it's like a quiet zone. <laughs> so you could just come and read. 
and that's the big statue. And I showed that in my drone video from above, but I don't think it nearly captured how big it is, because it's huge. There's a reference for you, the lady in front versus the statue. the sea right over there. And they have a section for dogs and and that's cool. I'll look down this road right here and you guys can see just how crazy big this thing is. <laughs> look at that. Amazing. Again Four miles long. And it's probably more than that. I don't know. I just measured my steps. So I, I you can't even see the end of that way down there. <laughs> you can see the dogs hanging out here. <laughs> Three of them just laying in the nice cut green grass. How cool is that? Okay, Varna. Marvelous. Thanks for letting me come and see your city for a week, everybody. It's been a, a great trip. Okay, I gotta move on today. I go to a little tiny town. Um, what's the name of the town I'm going to? Um, <laughs> how terrible is that that you don't know even where you're going to next? You know, but when you travel every week is a different place, so it's, uh, you know, it's a tough one. Um, I'm going to... What's it called? Tri not tryptophan. No, it's it's two words. <laughs> Travinko. No. Um, uh, oh, Veliko Tarnovo. Veliko Tarnovo. Yeah, Veliko Tarnovo. Okay, everybody. Thanks for coming along with me. We'll see you in the next city. Bye, bye, everybody.